hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is pilumi and on this channel i share sewing and craft videos if it's your first time watching my videos you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber or returning viewer you're welcome back please subscribe to my channel it's free and it just supports me and helps this channel grow as you can see in today's video i'm going to show you how i made a three-piece lounge vest set inspired by kim kardashian skins brand she released a new line of lounge wares and when i saw it and the price tag i was like really i can definitely make it so i'm not hating on kim she has worked hard on her brand and can sell anything at a high price point and people will definitely buy it so it's just a reminder for me to work on my brand as well so continue watching the rest of the video to see how i made my own loungewear set i hope it inspires you to make yours and save some coins in the process okay so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it share and do subscribe to my channel enjoy the video the things you need to make this loungewear are a tank top that fits well and it should have stretch trousers elastic scissors pins measuring tape thread ruler your fabric of choice and i will be using this cream colored fleece fabric it's so soft and stretchy it was perfect for this lounge set so i will recommend this fabric or you can just use any other stretchy fabric you can find i would also recommend that you get four meters of this fabric i got three meters and i had to make the trousers shorter than i would have liked because i did not have enough fabric so get enough fabric so the amount of fabric you need for the robe is um, fold your fabric twice like so it's dark now and then just determine to the point where you want your shoulders to drop so i probably want mine to drop this far and then pull it to the other side the same length okay so i'm going to measure how much fabric it is now so this is like 24 inches from this point to this point 24 inches and then i want it to be floor length so i'm going to also measure that length <music> So I'm just going to mark, use a pin to mark the center back, which is where the fold is right now, before I open it up. So this is going to be my center back, and I'll pin this at the bottom as well. So what I'm going to do is open it up, and fold it like this. So bring one side to the center back, and then the other side to the center back. So starting from the midpoint, I'm going to measure three inches. I think I have to mark this time around. Three inches and then the other side, three inches. This will be the width of the neckline. So drop the shoulders by um, 1.5 inches. 1.5. going to connect this point. Want, let's cut the neckline down by four inches. So the or five, the front neckline by five. And then I'm just gonna draw like a triangle shape connecting to the neckline here. I'm just gonna mark where the armhole is gonna be. So I'm gonna make it um, 11 inches deep. 11 inches here now i'm gonna open it up because it's folded here remember so i'm just gonna snip this and then open it up okay be the shoulder opening for the for the armhole so i'm gonna take this to the sewing machine now and sew the shoulders together like join the shoulder scale with a twitch stitch okay So I'm going to cut out all four sleeves at the same time. Okay, so right now I have four layers, right? And the sleeve has to be 11 inches wide for each panel. So I'm going to measure out 12 inches. And 
and it's going to be 14 inches long so because I don't have ribbon and I want the sleeve to be like tapered at the end I'm going to um, taper the end of the sleeve okay so 18 inches long That was so hard. <laughs> so many layers. <laughs> okay, so I have four sleeve layers. I'm gonna join two this way on each side and then the other two, you know, on the side. You know, simple like that. Okay, so I have my sleeve here and what I'm gonna do is just tuck the sleeve inside and pin. So ensure that the right sides are facing. I'm gonna sew around and my sleeve will be attached. I'm also gonna cut out the pocket piece. Is fold it in this way and then do the same on the other side. If you wanna see how to attach patch pockets in details, I have a video of a patch pocket dress and I gave details of how to attach a patch pocket. But this is what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it half an inch at the bottom and pin only to the front, okay? And then I'm just going to sew at the edge, very close to the edge, and that will be my patch pocket. But for the waist ties, I have these two long strips, uh, and they are about, uh, okay, I need to make them equal. This is five, and then this is six, so I need to make this one five inches, and they are about, um... 54 inches long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just join them right sides facing right now <laughs> and so join them together join them together here and then when I'm done I'll just fold it over this way and so all along to make a long loop and then I turn it over and then I have my rope <laughs> that's very simple to finish the rope what I did not record was the final finishing touches of hemming the neckline of the robe which I just folded in once and secured with a straight stitch. I also hemmed the edge of the sleeves as well in the same way. I stitched the pocket on and ensured that it was placed equally on the right and left side. I also added the belt loops on both sides which was very easy to do. So if you have watched to this point, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So I'm about to cut the top. I'm trying to manage fabric. It seems like I don't have enough. So I wouldn't make this as long as I, I had intended. Uh, maybe about 17 inches um, long at this point. So I'm basically just going to cut out the outline of my tank top, leaving about one inch on the side just in case. Even though this is stretching, I'm folding, I'm cutting on the stretchy side. Um, I just want to make sure I have enough. Um, allowance okay and I'm gonna cut it scooped at the front and at the back okay so this is my tank top and all I'm gonna do is join at the shoulders and join at the side seams okay that's it it's done was the easiest to make I assure you all that was needed was joining the shoulders and the side seams with a straight stitch I did not hem the bottom but I finished the neckline and the armhole with a bias tape this is all the fabric I have left so I don't think I can make the long version but I also don't want a short version either maybe I could make a three-quarter version <laughs> I don't know okay so what I'm gonna do is get my joggers i'm just gonna copy the crotch line that's that's all i'm gonna copy i'm gonna copy the back because the back is usually longer i'm gonna copy the back crotch okay there it is this is the back crotch and i'm gonna place it on the edge 
of my fabric like so. Okay. And then I'll trace it out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut out this back crotch line. Okay, so I have the back crotch and I'm gonna cut, 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 cut out the front. Get my front, fold it like so. I hope. And I'm just gonna cut that out. See, the front is shorter than the back. So, it's gonna be my shorts. So, what I'm gonna do is join the front crotch right sides together, and I'm going to sew the crotch together. Just the front crotch together. Also, sew the back crotch together. Pin it, right sides facing. So, sew the front crotch and sew the back crotch. Okay, so I have joined the front crotch and the back crotch together, but I still don't want shorts and I don't have enough fabric left. So, but I have two panels left, these two panels. So I'm gonna attach them to the bottom of the trousers, um, just to make them long. They'll be uh, uh, same at the tie, but I think it's fine. I can't wear shorts in winter, so they have to be long. Okay, so I have attached the extra piece so i'm gonna open it up and now uh, what i need to do is sew the inner legs together pin this all the way down and do the same for the other side so it's gonna be like you're sewing a v <laughs> this way to make the waistband for the trousers i'm just going to measure around to get the circumference It's 47 so I'm gonna get a strip of fabric that's 47 inches and two no four inches wide something like this okay it's going to be four inches wide so I can fold over and insert my elastic inside so I'm gonna pin the waistband to the trousers right sides together I'll pin all around and then I'll sew I need to close up the waistband first so I'm gonna close up the waistband and then just spin it around so and you know the normal stuff so I have attached um, the waistband so I'm just gonna close it up by holding it in by half an inch okay that's it all around and then I'm gonna leave a little space to attach the elastic band so I've pinned my waistband down and to close it up, I'm going to sew on the right side in the ditch. It's not clear, but literally I'm just going to sew in between the seam that I initially attached the waistband with. So I have cut my waistband here, which is, which I just wrapped around my waist to determine how long I want it to be. To pin, a safety pin on the waistband so that I can use it to pass the elastic bank through the waist the last step was to attach the waistband and once that was done my entire loungewear set was finished as you can see the trouser is not as long as I would have liked um, because I didn't have enough fabric so do ensure they have enough fabric to make any piece as long as you want so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have any questions or any further clarifications on any of the steps, do ask in the comment section and I will swiftly respond. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video, which is next week. Bye guys.